Well, it is great having you students back again for doing some art with Genesis Art Quest. I am Mr. Myers, and I will be your teacher for this drawing project that we're going to be working on today. This is the beginning of a series of projects that are geared more toward introduction to drawing for middle school students. One of the most basic, fundamental concepts for drawing is perspective. And there are different types of linear perspective. The one that we're going to be talking about is a one-point linear perspective. This is a, a kind of a, it's sort of a trick that artists use to convey form, depth, volume, creating anything from a still life to a landscape. And it has been used throughout history as far as drawing goes in art, especially at the beginning of the Renaissance period in Europe. Let's take a look at an image that's very familiar to all. First of all, very famous uh, painting of The Last Supper by uh, da Vinci. And you can see here the uh, uh, um, identification of a, a, a one point, vanishing point in the background. And there's no uh, mistaking the fact that da Vinci wanted the person of Christ to be um, at that vanishing point so that all attention would be drawn to him. And then converging lines going to that vanishing point, as you see here, uh, coming from all different directions in the scene. Also, uh, an example of something on a little more modern side, Hopper's uh, gas station. You see uh, a very clear example here also of one point linear perspective going to a single vanishing point with converging lines. All right, let's get started. You have that little introduction as far as art history goes with regard to one point linear perspective. We're going to do just a simple drawing that kind of applies that, that concept to a collection of shapes and forms on a sheet of paper. We're going to use a 12 by 18 sheet of white drawing paper, regular number two, a 2B pencil. Uh, a uh, white vinyl eraser. This will work the best. And then um, an 18 inch ruler. Of course the uh, the advantage is that it is 18 inches long and it will fit across the whole sheet of the drawing paper. First thing that needs to be done is to establish a horizon line. So we're setting the the ruler on one edge six inches Make a As you do your drawing, if you need to extend your corners, you can do that. The important thing is that this rectangle be above the vanishing point, and there's a reason for that. I want you to take a look at that rectangle now on, uh, on your paper, and I'd like you to tell me how many guidelines, how many converging lines will there be going to the vanishing point. Two. There are two corners that have open access to that vanishing point. So, 45 degree angle on the pencil. Keep it perpendicular to the ruler. Lightly drag the pencil. Line it up with the other corner and the vanishing point. Same thing. 45 degree angle. Perpendicular. Just lightly drag the pencil. And there you have those two guidelines going to the vanishing point. Now here's something else that I want to emphasize. This space between the horizon line and the top of the box letter L, and I'm just going to put the number down here and erase it, you need to have that um, between one and two inches. Two inches is probably uh, a better choice. Allow for enough gap between that. And that's going to uh, come into uh, importance when you you do the converging lines for the top of this and show the very top plane of this box letter L. 
line the ruler up with the vertical right side on the top. Keep the ruler parallel. I slide it to the side. I have to watch for that line. Ah, back it up. The end of the line that I had just drawn and now I put a vertical in between those two guidelines. The last one is the tricky one. This is for the very top. Line the ruler up with the top of the original box letter L. Keep the ruler parallel. Raise it up until you reach the end of the line that you've just drawn and now put in a horizontal line for the top. Anytime shading is done in an interior space should just be a little darker. Less light gets in there. You're trying to make the illusion of space with this drawing. All right, then we'll go to the right side facing out and make that a medium. Uh, you can have HB, which is kind of in the middle of the road, and then all the H's are the harder, lighter darkness pencils. Or you can simply control the pressure that you put on the, a 2B pencil and get the results that you need. It just requires being consistent, <clears throat> putting a consistent amount of pressure on the pencil and staying inside the shape anything facing to the right is going to be medium. A lot of ways and I'm matching curve for curve. I've, I'm starting to swing back out and then run parallel with that other curve. You wrap around that edge a little bit just to make it convincing. You have a total of six or more, six to eight forms on a sheet of paper this size with shading. And I'll show you a couple of examples here of student work that's been completed. <clears throat> you can see here um, uh, how creative the student was with adding parts and uh, uh, openings and uh, doing more than the minimum requirement. We'll see another one. This student uh, got really excited about doing box letters and again going beyond the minimum requirement of the six forms. And another one, some challenging, uh, some challenging forms that were done here. A uh, little more difficult shading, some of these, but uh, this student did a fine job. Again, above and beyond the, the minimal requirement. I'd like you to take your time now, uh, finish up, uh, again, six to eight or more depending on how much space you have on your sheet of paper using one point linear perspective with shading to make this an introductory project in the unit that we are doing now on drawing. Enjoy yourself. Take your time with doing this. If you have to back up the DVD and watch certain parts again, feel free to do that. Uh, have fun and, and create your own one point perspective uh, practice sheet uh, showing these forms. And we'll get back together again for another drawing project next in the Genesis Art Quest. Lord bless.